teams are quickly out changing ponies. Here comes Jimmy DeAndres just coming on the field, but we've got the four Baltimores, we've got the three other Newporters, and we've got the two umpires. And the umpires will start the second chucker where that first one finished. And it uh, looks like Ted Torrey will bowl the ball in from the centre towards the sides. Seven minutes back on the clock for the second chucker, one all. Tight polo, we've had a few close goal attempts though. And Ted Torrey just waits for a good line. He's just getting ready. Frederico Wolf just at the front end in case the ball bounces out. In comes the ball. Jimmy trying to get to it. Rides Max over it. Well played, Frederico Wolf. He comes out with it, tapping it. And uh, Secundo trying to get to him. Does Max Secundo. Leaves it for Keating. Keating has a shot at goal. Secundo gets it off the back line. It only as far as Frederico, but coming through is PJ Orthwine. Orthwine clears it for Baltimore. Now he's going to cut it upfield. Just takes a little tap. Unfortunately, it comes off his cane and bounces towards the boards. And Keating picks it up, looks up, leaves it for Orthwine. But now it's in front of Keating came off his pony. He's called off it by, uh, looks like Jimmy DeAngelis has got control. Jimmy just looking up, sends a shot forward. Look at that. Can Krista run onto it? Krista's being taken out. PJ Orthwine gets in the backhand, but Dan Keating pounces on it. Keating going towards goal, and we got a fall. Hopefully nothing too serious. Look at that. Hayden just gets straight back up, takes the post out of the way. The horse just trots off back towards its mates. Absolutely brilliant, Hayden. Good on you for getting straight back up. That's what I call a tough sportsman. None of them fairy sort of soccer players you see in the English Premier League. These guys get back up and get on with it. All right, so the team's back to the middle despite Hayden Walsh's heroics. He couldn't stop Keating from scoring the goal. And so Newport in the lead again. Now they're going up towards the scoreboard. And Frederica Wolf stops the ball, doesn't quite get the shot he needed. And uh, John Walsh trying to have a fight with him at the moment. John Walsh got a little touch on it. And finally, the umpires blow the whistle because in polo, it's supposed to be the fastest ball sport there is. You can't really stop on top of the ball and prevent somebody else from hitting it. So the umpires have blown a whistle. I think it could have gone either way in favour of Newport or Baltimore, but I think, I suppose, Frederico did hit it there in the first place, so Newport get the call. And this time it's going to be a 60-yard penalty, so 60 yards from the middle of the field. And this is a defendable penalty, so Baltimore have to be behind the 30-yard line, 30 yards from the ball, but they'll be between the ball and the goal mouth trying to save it. And you'll probably see a couple of reds of Newport either side of the goal mouth. They're there to try and send the ball back into the middle if it's going off to the side. And the number three, Frederico Wolf, to take this. Frederico looking good on that pony. He's just coming up. Is he going to go for the big shot? It looks like he is. He opens his shoulders, sends a strong shot along the ground. Keating trying to send it towards the middle. I think Keating did send it towards the middle. It's just stuck there in a good little backhand out of the danger zone. Frederico tries to back it in. Krista still now got a chance. Big backhand comes off the bunch of ponies. Dan Keating sends the back end. Comes off another pony. Max Secunda clears it for Baltimore. Just a little bit. Oh, he gets the ball out the air. About the height of his saddle. Pretty cool play by him. Jimmy DeAndres trying to get in the back end. It bounces off the boards. Jimmy's still got it on the boards. And Max and Frederico fighting for it. Max got his stick in the air, but it looks like a new porter got a little touch. Frederico, I think. Jimmy DeAndres picks it up, sends it forward. It's got a lot of work to do. It's right on the back line, but very wide. But Max Secunda looks up picks it up. Max starting a run for Baltimore. He's got no one in front of him though. He's just going a little wide at the moment. Tries on the side. Doesn't manage. Jim DeAndres backhands it beautifully but turning quickest is Hayden Walsh for Baltimore and Hayden goes across the field. He has room. He's got space too. Doesn't get the ball on the near side. Backing him up. PJ Orthwine sends a massive shot but it's going to bounce over the boards underneath the Argentinian flag and the teams will line up over there and wait for Ted Torrey to bowl the ball in. There's some great hood hooking going on at the moment. Some great hitting as well. Exactly how Polo should be. 
And in comes the ball, bounces out for Baltimore, but Frederico Wolf gets a very quick touch on it, passes the ball to Krista. Krista's out there in the open. His horse doesn't have the speed of Hayden's, I think. Is that Hayden going back with him? It is indeed. Hayden Walsh, can he get to it before the... Oh, Max Secunda gets in there just as Newport are about to score. Turns the ball, and Orthwine and uh, Frederica take themselves out. Here comes Matt. Oh, Krista gets a little backhand. Keating needs big backhand. Oh, yes, look at that. It's in front of Jimmy. Jimmy's just got to control it and push it to the post. Jimmy DeAngelis, Mr. Reliable himself, scores from a Dan Keating backhand. Newport open up a two-goal lead, 3-1. to one. But man, there's nothing in this polo game. It's end to I think we won't get the weather till after the game. I think the weather gods are watching and going, hey, this is a good game of polo. We'll wait until it's finished. And then we'll rain. Remember though, everybody, seriously, if you see lightning or anything coming or hear it, get in your cars, because that's the safest place to be. Run to your cars, get out the lightning, get out the opening. And coming on to the attack, PJ Orthwine, Big, big move towards the Newport goal. Trying to get it, Max. Oh, it goes underneath Keating's pony. Unluckily for Max, nothing you can do about that. It's unfortunate. Keating away, doesn't get the shot. Max Secunda gets a little backhand. It's right there for Frederico Wolf, though. Wolf turns it upfield. Look at this. He's looking, he's looking. It goes big. Does it reach Keating? No, it doesn't. And on the ball is uh, Max Secunda. He's going to try and pass it. No, he's going to turn it himself. Look at that. One, two, three little taps. Look at that. Great play by him. Now now he's going upfield, slotting in behind him, PJ Orthwine. His other two players are also behind him. One of them needs to make an attacking move for him. It comes off a pony, but now PJ's moved forward. Now he's got someone to pass it to. Goes under the neck. Oh, he pulls it way too far across the field. Going over there, Frederica Wolf and... Uh, P.J. Orthwine. Orthwine gets in the shot. Jimmy DeAngelis meets it. It's going along the back line. Is it going to go out of play? No, it's going to stay in play. No, it's on the back line. And I think, no, Jimmy's over there. He's going to keep it in play, is he? He does. He taps it up. Max Secunda rides into him. And now the whistle goes. So we'll have to wait and see what the umpires decide. It's right over in the far corner. So we can't really tell from up here. It's a fog. Too much fog. decision and it looks like it might be an offsetting foul as umpire Dave Markell lines the teams up in front of him Baltimore in the ascendancy at the moment Jimmy DeAngelis the back for Newport just going to his goal mouth in case they come straight out with it and Bowls the ball in a little high, goes in over the top of the horse's heads, but coming straight out with it. I think that's PJ, is it? And he taps it through the goal and scores for Baltimore very quickly from the back of the field, goes right through them. And so two goals to Baltimore, three to Newport. And the teams will come back to the middle, just under two. Dave Markell got the teams in front of him. This is a bit of a better bowl in. It goes in to the ground. And on it is PJ Orthwine. Turns it. Tries to send it up to Max. Secunda Max picks it out the air. Unbelievably, the number three for Baltimore. Is he going to level it all up? He's not going to make a mistake this time. The third time. No mistake from Max Secunda. Let's change ends. Newport going down towards the pony lines. Baltimore up towards the scoreboard. And the seconds are clicking off. And Wolf now for Newport. Oh, look at that shot from him. It's got the legs. Has it got the direction? No, it hasn't. And it runs out just wide. So we'll have a hit in to Baltimore. They've got plenty of time. 37 seconds. They'll take it quite quickly. Where is it? It looks like PJ Orthwine back there. Max Secunda over here. There goes the 30-second bell. And PJ brings it in. Looking up. Max is running for him. In the middle of the field is John Hayden unmarked. I oh, know that's, that's uh, John Walsh over there. I mean, Hayden Walsh in the middle unmarked. PJ trying to get across to him. PJ gets over there. Got the near side shot. Turns it now to the offside shot. And Chris is still trying to get to him, doesn't. And look at that from PJ Orthwine. What a lovely looking shot. It's going towards goal. Chris is going to try and get back there. Oh, neat play by Frederica Wolf. Gets the shot. And they're beaten by the bell. They can't score the goal, but they're going to have a great spot for the start of the third. Chucker right in front of the Newport goal. And the teams will quickly go off. And look at that scoreboard. Three to the visitors, third Chucker, and three to the home team. It's